Thank you. you. know the Chicago Auto Show has long been known for concept cars like that one, and I guess this year, concept human beings, although I think this guy needs a little work. Don't start crying now, you'll rust, okay? Oil can. Anyway, what's a concept car? Well, it's an idea that spills out of a designer's head onto a drawing board, becomes a clay model, and then a prototype vehicle. They ship it to shows like this, and at this point, it's strictly for show. But I'll tell you, if it draws enough attention, it'll be for sale soon. Honda's SSM Roadster is a North American premiere at the Chicago Auto Show. This is Honda's version of the 21st century sports car. It's a rear-drive two-seater with an electronically controlled five-speed automatic transmission. The driver's cockpit features a single LCD screen where all system information is displayed. Very high-tech. Isuzu's DeSeo Sport Utility Concept is another North American debut. It's a futuristic-looking sport utility, which Isuzu says is packed with state-of-the-art technology, including a satellite navigation system. In the near future, it's beginning to look like drivers may never get lost again. The reason Audi believes its TTS Roadster concept will click someday with consumers is its principle of reduction. In other words, less is better. Every detail, it says, both visual and technical, has been scrutinized to cut out the unnecessary. Audi hopes the end result will be the ultimate roadster, its TTS concept. Ford has a variety of concept cars and trucks at the show. This is the concept Ranger pickup truck. It combines the rugged features of a compact pickup with the advantages of a sport utility vehicle. Another new idea is its sliding canvas sunroof, giving it a convertible feel. The Ranger concept is more like three concepts in one. Here's a neat concept, an 80 mile per gallon family sedan. It's the Ford Synergy 2010. Its concept car runs on two power sources, fuel or electricity. If that seems practical, get this. It's devoid of switches, levers, or buttons because it's voice activated. The only thing you need your hands for is to steer the Synergy 2010. If your mood is indigo, you'll dig this jazzy new sports car concept from Ford. The Indigo is a two-seater with a V12 engine. Ford says it's inspired by Indy 500 cars. But this car will be street legal someday, though you may not want to test its 0 to 60 promise of 3.8 seconds on your way to work. This Sentinel concept hints at Lincoln Mercury's luxury car of the future, possibly the next Continental. The Sentinel is a full-size four-door with rear-wheel drive. A Lincoln executive describes its new edge styling as strong, almost brutal in shape, suggesting strength. The Sentinel hints at Lincoln's future by paying homage to classic styling cues of the past. Chrysler's LHX concept is an attempt to improve its popular four-door luxury LH platform. The LHX pushes Chrysler's cab forward concept further than ever. The wheels are pushed farther out and the cab is stretched more than before. The result is even more interior room. There's no question that the LHX is Chrysler's next generation luxury car.